What's up guys? Today I'm going to go over five easy mini rep tricks that look way harder than they actually are. These are not beginner tricks. These are more like intermediate tricks. You need to be comfortable riding a mini ramp, know how to do rock to fakies, axle stalls, tail stalls, some of the really easy tricks before you start learning these tricks. I'm going to do a video in the future about the five easiest mini ramp tricks. So I'm just going to go through and give you some tips on each of these tricks. If you want a more in-depth review on any of these tricks specifically, then let me know in the comment section below. And I'll look at that and consider it when I'm trying to figure out what kind of video I need to do next. So the first trick I'm going to be talking about today is the 270 pivot to axle stall. This trick is all in your head and your shoulders. Before you learn this trick, you need to know how to do an axle stall, and you need to know how to do a fakie 360 pivot. So to do this, you'll roll up the ramp backwards, and you'll start turning your head and shoulders when you start getting to the top of the ramp. You're going to lift the weight off your front foot, and the rest of your body is going to follow your head and your shoulders. Start out really low with this trick and just keep getting higher and higher until you're barely hitting the coping and then you can try to commit and throw yourself all the way up on the deck. You can practice any of these tricks on small banks before you take them to the quarter pipe. The next trick I want to talk about is the blunt to rock to fakie. This is one of those tricks that definitely looks way harder than it actually is. Now with that being said, this trick can be kind of dangerous when you first start trying it. It's an easy trick to slip out and fall back on. So when you first learn these, learn to roll up a bank and get into a blunt, then learn to roll up the quarter pipe and just stop in a blunt stall. After you're comfortable riding up the ramp and landing in a blunt stall, all you have to do is lean back into the ramp and pop a little ollie. You don't have to ollie that hard, you just want to get your back wheels back over the coping into the ramp. After that, you just lift your front trucks, do a regular rock to fakie back into the ramp, and it's really not that hard. The next trick I want to talk about is a pop shove it. This is one of those tricks that you can get super consistent if you practice. So before you ever try to take this to the ramp, get really comfortable doing shove -its on flat ground. Learn your fakie shove -its, your regular shove -its, nolly shove -its. just get really comfortable with the board spinning, catching it, and putting it down. Once you're really comfortable with that, it's not that hard to take this to the ramp. Next we've got the fakey smith stall to rock. So fakey smith stalls and rock to fakies are both really easy tricks. It's just combining them with a little backside 180. So you need to get comfortable getting into your fakey smith stalls and popping out of them. Once you're comfortable with that, you're going to get into a fakey smith stall. You're going to start turning your shoulders like you're doing a backside 180 lift your front truck up and just fall into a rock to fakie really quick and then just get out of it the same way you get out of a rock to fakie alright for the last trick this is definitely my favorite trick on this list it's also definitely the hardest trick on this list is the half cab blunt to pivot this is a complicated looking trick and it's a trick that you don't see very often I've been doing these for like 10 years but I don't know if I have ever seen anyone else do them at the skate park. I'm pretty sure I've seen them on videos, but this trick is basically a half cab into a blunt and then another backside 180, not quite all the way, into a pivot and then just turning back into the ramp. It looks really hard and complicated, but it's not that bad, especially because you're moving the same direction the whole time. If I was going half cab into a blunt and then turning a front side 180 back in, 
that would be hard because you have to change the way your body's moving right in the middle but with this trick it kind of throws you all the way around anyway so like with the other trick get used to doing those fakie 360 pivots just like with that 270 axle stall it's all in the head and shoulders you gotta start turning your head and shoulders as you come up so you're turning all the way 180 landing in that blunt and then giving it just a little ollie like that blunt rock to fakie just a little ollie while you're still turning your head and shoulders and it's just gonna fall into a pivot really easy you keep turning your head and shoulders all the way around and roll back in so that was a few tips and tricks on some of the tricks that I do a lot again if you guys want more detailed reviews on any of these tricks or any other tricks you want me to talk about let me know in the comment section below and I'll check out those comments see what you guys want to see I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this kind of content reviews tutorials and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder then hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching